So the Gemini API recently got updated and it solves a very specific problem when it comes to processing of documents, especially if you're building AI workflows that involves document processing. Let's think of a scenario, right? Let's say that your current file lives in a different cloud bucket. It could be an AWS, Azure, or even Google Cloud Storage, right? Now, as of today, if you have to build a workflow, you will have to download the file and then upload the file in the Gemini API and you'll have to do this every 48 hours because that's when the Gemini's file storage gets expired. All of that is going to change now with this new update. Gemini API can now directly read files from your cloud storage, whether it is a GCS bucket or an AWS or an Azure bucket. And that is one of the main updates that this particular release has. Outside of that, they've also changed some of the limits when it comes to uploading the documents. So what I want to do now is take you through the application so that you can see for yourself the changes. And then we will also go through the details of where you can access it and get some more information about it. All right, so let's get into it. So I built this app using Google AI Studio just to test out the API and also explain this to you guys visually on what exactly are the updates. So if you see here, there are two data injection modes, right? The first one is really the remote URL mode. And the second one is where you can upload the files which are local to your computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first one where I'm going to just point it to a to a public PDF documentation and I'm going to share the link with you guys so you, you guys can try as well. So I'm just going to directly copy and paste it over here and I'm going to ask summarize this document for me. So I'm just going to ask this and as, as soon as I do this, what is happening is Gemini actually goes out and fetches this file directly from this particular URL, right? And it, it processes it. At this moment, you are not seeing that I have downloaded anything and I've uploaded anything. It is a direct processing of files which is happening. And you can see the speed at which it did it, right? So it's pretty fascinating. It has identified the document title and it has summarized everything pretty quickly. If I go back and this is exactly the title, it's a long, it's a pretty big document, right? You can see 58 pages. So it was able to do a good job in summarizing this pretty quickly and also giving us the gist of it. So let me really explain what happened here, right? So what I just showed you is actually the most important and the biggest update, which is external URL support. Gemini can now fetch files directly from any URL. This works with public links, AWS S3 signed URLs, Azure SaaS tokens, and even Google Sheets export URLs, right? One step instead of three. That's what you just saw in the demo. And limit is 100 MB per request. Now, another update here is Google Cloud Storage Direct Registration. So if your files are already in GCS, you can actually register them straight from your bucket, right? So that's, that's where you already have your data in Google Cloud. So you set up the permission once, register your path, and it is going to be valid for 30 days. And limit is 2 GB per file, which is great for video, long audio, or massive documents. So those are the two key updates which are more around the remote URL, right? The third one is more around uploading local files. So let me do that really quickly for you. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And this one, it's an interesting one because on the surface, it doesn't look like anything has changed. But what has happened is it can do the summary and all of those things. We have up uploaded the file directly. But if you wanted to send the file directly in your API request earlier, right? This was base64 encoded and the limit was 20 megabytes. Now it's actually 100 MB, which is five times more 5X increase, right? And for PDFs, it is actually like 50 MB. Let me also clarify one key thing here. What you just saw is not RAG. This is not the Gemini's managed RAG solution via file search tool. What we just did here was we gave it a direct file as an input. Here's one file, read the whole thing and answer my question. And you know which file you want. RAG and file search are where search through many files to find the answer. You don't know which file has the answer, right? So different problem, different solutions. So I just wanted to make sure that we are on the same page here. So just to summarize three important updates. Number one, external URL support. Gemini fetches files directly from any link. Number two is GCS direct registration. Register once and use it for 30 days. And number three is inline limits, which went from 20 to 100 megabytes. So the bottom line here is if your document is already stored in a cloud bucket, you don't have to download, upload, and then manage that whole cycle multiple times. You can directly do it. And if you're uploading files from your local folder, then the limit of the size of the file is increased quite a bit. 
So the external URLs are supported by Gemini 3 models, both Pro and Flash. I'm not sure if they're supported by the older model, so please do check on that as well. But I'm hoping that this update is going to be very valuable for anyone who is actually building those kind of AI workflows, right, where there's a lot of document processing happening. Please do let me know in the comment section if you think that this update directly impacts and helps you in different ways. I'm very curious to understand the use cases. And obviously, if you guys have questions, please do drop them in the comment section as well. And if you found the update valuable, please do hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so that you can get to see these kind of updates on a regular basis. Thank you once again for your time. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.